Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Of the twelve disciples, whose mother-in-law did Jesus heal? Simon Andrew James John The answer is Simon Mark chapter 1, verses 29 to 31 as soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. Question 2. Name the lawyer mentioned in the book of Titus. Artemis, Zenus, Apollos, Erastus. The answer is Zenus. Titus chapter 3, verse 13. As soon as I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, because I have decided to winter there. Do everything you can to help Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way, and see that they have everything they need. Question 3. What was the name of the coppersmith that did Paul a great deal of harm? Eratus Stephen Alexander Linus. The answer is Alexander. Second Timothy, Chapter Four, Verse Fourteen. Alexander the metal worker did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him, because he strongly opposed our message. Question 4. What was the name of Ruth's son? Salmon. Obed. Jesse. Nashon. The answer is Obed. Ruth chapter 4, verse 17. Then Naomi took the child in her arms and cared for him. The women living there said, Naomi has a son, and they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. Question 5. When Jesus was baptized, in what form did the Spirit appear? A tongue of fire, a dove, wind, a voice. The answer is a dove. John chapter 1, verse 32. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him, and I myself did not know him. But the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, The man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Question 6. Who did Moses marry? Miriam. Zipporah, Sarah, Rachel.
The answer is Zipporah. Exodus, chapter 2, verse 21. Moses agreed to stay with the man who gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses in marriage. Zipporah gave birth to a son, and Moses named him Gershom, saying, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land. Question 7. Who did Paul consider to be the pillars of faith? James Cephas John All of the above The answer is All of the above Galatians chapter 2, verses 7 to 9. For God, who was at work in Peter as an apostle to the circumcised, was also at work in me as an apostle to the Gentiles. James, Cephas, and John, those esteemed as pillars, gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship when they recognized the grace given to me. They agreed that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Question 8. Once the Israelites began living with and marrying other nations, what else began to happen? They forgot every law Moses had given them. They converted all the people to Judaism. They began to serve their gods. They stopped giving sacrifices. The answer is, they began to serve their gods. Judges chapter 3, verse 6. The Israelites lived among the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. They took their daughters in marriage and gave their own daughters to their sons and served their gods. Question 9. In the book of Haggai, what position did Joshua hold? A governor, a high priest, a king, a warrior. The answer is a high priest. Haggai, chapter 1, verse 1. In the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to Zerubbabel son of Sheltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua son of Josadak, the high priest. Question 10. With whom did Paul warn the Corinthians not to associate? Unbelievers disobedient believers, Jews, Gentiles. The answer is disobedient believers. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 9 to 11. But now I am writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who claims to be a brother or sister, but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater or slanderer, a drunkard or swindler. Do not even eat with such people. Question 11. Which one of David's sons did he have to flee Israel from? Absalom. Amnon. Nathan, Solomon. The answer is Absalom. Second Samuel, chapter 15, verse 14. Then David said to all his officials who were with him in Jerusalem, Come. We must flee, or none of us will escape from Absalom. We must leave immediately, 
or he will move quickly to overtake us and bring ruin on us and put the city to the sword. Question 12. Paul compared men of corrupt minds who oppose the truth to which two men that opposed Moses. Janus and Jambres, Jonathan and Jesse, Obadiah and Ezekiel, Daniel and Benjamin. The answer is Janus and Jambres. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 8 Just as Janus and Jambres opposed Moses, so also these teachers oppose the truth. They are men of depraved minds, who, as far as the faith is concerned, are rejected. Question 13 who did Paul send to the Ephesians? Tychicus Titus Timothy Barnabas The answer is Tychicus Ephesians chapter 6 verses 21 to 22. Tychicus, the dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will tell you everything, so that you also may know how I am and what I am doing. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage you. Question 14. What were the Jewish names of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Benjamin, Simeon, and Joseph. Emmaus, Kiriath, and Jarim. Hananiah, Mishal, and Azariah. Onam, Shammai, and Jada. The answer is... Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Daniel chapter 1, verse 7. Then the king ordered Ashpenaz, chief of his court officials, to bring into the king's service some of the Israelites. Among those who were chosen were some from Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The chief official gave them new names, to Daniel, the name Belteshazzar, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishal, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. Question 15. Where were Job's sons and daughters feasting and drinking when they were killed? The eldest brother's house, Job's house, Elihu's house, the temple. The answer is the eldest brother's house. Job chapter 1, verses 18 to 19. While he was still speaking, yet another messenger came and said, Your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, when suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house. It collapsed on them, and they are dead and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. Congratulations, you did it! You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.